Well, many of Australia's landmarks were lit up in blue and white last night in solidarity with Israel. But at the same time, the New South Wales police allowed an unauthorised anti-Israel pro-Hamas rally to go ahead despite no application being filed, despite the fact that Hamas is a terrorist group, and despite the fact that those present then chanted, gas the Jews. Jeremy Liebler is the president of the Zionist Federation of Australia, and he joins me from Melbourne now. Welcome to the program, Jeremy. What's your reaction to the rallies that we've seen in Sydney this week and that are planned for Melbourne tonight? Well, it's terrifying, Shari. Um, th there aren't really other words to describe it. I'm a second generation Holocaust survivor. I come from a, a family of Holocaust survivors. I have aunties that were in Auschwitz and I grew up very much under the shadow of the Holocaust and the notion that I would have to explain to my children um, that there are people walking the streets of Sydney yelling, gas the Jews, um, is just in incomprehensible. And what do you think about the police here in New South Wales telling the Jewish community to stay home, not to go to the city, the heart of, of Sydney, and not to go to the Opera House, the, our national icon, instead of actually shutting down this protest? Yeah, well, I think we need to actually understand and look at what sits behind that advice. And so on the one hand, I have no doubt that the police's intentions were, were well, perhaps to protect, um, you know, any, any, any Jewish members of the community that would be nearby, so to stay away. But that's not acceptable because that's effectively blaming the victim. It's akin to saying to women, stay home, otherwise you'll be raped. And that would be completely unacceptable. So we need to ask, ask ourselves, who are the enablers of this sort of behaviour? And Shari, the enablers are spread all throughout society, frankly, both on the left and on the right. And one needs to only start looking at our universities to understand why this is normalised, because universities mm. have normalised this sort of rhetoric without calling it out and calling it as unacceptable. Mm, and we've got breaking news. And if you just want a simple example. No, go ahead, go ahead, yep. If, if you just want a simple example, look at the University of Sydney, where they sent out a letter to all of their students asking both Israeli and Palestinian students if they need support given events in Israel and Palestine, as if there is some sort of equal-footed war or dispute going on amongst two like-minded or differently-minded countries, mm. when in fact one side, a terrorist organisation, has perpetuated a mass atrocity on the other. It's shocking, and University of Sydney has a very poor record on this. Uh, Jeremy, the Community Security Group, it's known as the CSG, um, for anyone who hasn't heard of it, it's, it's Jewish security. It's raised the national threat level in Australia to severe. The Jewish community is on heightened alert in light of the war in Israel. That's what the CSG says. What does this mean? What is the threat level like at the moment in Australia for Jews? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what it means. It means that Jewish families are not letting their children walk around the streets unaccompanied. It means that Jewish families are, um, and both children and adults, are not walking around with identifiably Jewish, um, uh, you know, clothing or dress um, because they don't feel safe around the streets. And it means that on tonight's, like tonight in Melbourne, where a rally similar to that that took place in Sydney is being planned in Melbourne, that frankly, they are staying as far away from the city as possible because they are fearful for their own safety. Do you think it's safe for Jewish parents to be sending their children to Jewish schools this week? You know, I, I don't think that you need an expert to answer the question, is it safe? But the real question is, terrorism is designed to instill terror and fear. And the effect of what's happening in Israel and the effect of the, the rhetoric and the behaviour of people within the pro-Palestinian and parts of the Muslim community here in Australia has created that fear. Um, the difference is um, today here in Australia, I'm very grateful that we have strong bipartisan political support. About 15 minutes ago when I was waiting outside the studio, I received a call from um, the Premier of Victoria 
and who assured me that they were monitoring the rally, that the mistakes that took place in Sydney mm. would not take place, that police were properly briefed. Um, and I'm hopeful that that will come to fruition. And the fact that we had both the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition, and both the state leaders as well condemn the rhetoric mm. and the behaviour at these rallies is extremely important. Yeah. All right, Jeremy Liebler, thank you so much for your time. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you for